Well, the Doctor Who trilogy of the 60th anniversary specials have come and gone, and the internet is abuzz with it all. Ha! <laughs> Not really, sorry. The Star Beats, The Wild Blue Yonder, and The Giggle. Three mediocre episodes of a once great sci fi spectacle. Three examples of why modern television is now appalling, and three reasons why Doctor Who is done. Gone. Over. Nay, nay, oh dear God, one thousand times nay. Three episodes that couldn't hold on to a dwindling viewer base. Collectively, starting from the first episode to the third episode, the specials overall lost three quarters of a million viewers. Now, some say more and that they're fiddling the figures, but I don't have evidence for that, so we'll stick with this official number. To give this some perspective, Jodie Whittaker's last special and last episode got 5.1 million consolidated figures. Peter Cabaldi's last special and last episode got 7.92 million consolidated figures. So, you did better than the worst thing ever to happen to Doctor Who, but miles behind the guy who was one of the best Doctors. Yeah. That's an achievement, isn't it? Well done, BBC. These are three episodes that inserted a big dose of leftist ideology and a smidge of revisionist history. Because the Metacrisis might have slowed down, but that thing is wrapped around your cortex. Yes, we know. We know everything. Thanks. And you know nothing. It's a shame you're not a woman anymore. Because you've got still. You've got all that power. But there is a way to get rid of it. Something a male presenting Time Lord will never understand. I just need to triangulate. Could you tell me what year this is? It's 1666. Oh, stay away from London. Wait a minute. Apple tree, apple. Man holding an apple in 1666. Are you Sir Isaac Newton? No. Mm, no, he's not. This is just me rehashing old ground, but here's a thought. What you may not know is that, just like how Marvel Studios The Eternals literally saved lives. Can you imagine how many lives this is going to be saving? Apparently, so does watching any Doctor Who special, or Christmas special to be more specific. Doctor Who Christmas specials linked to lower death rates. Excuse me, I have to step out for a minute. No, 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 wait, it gets better. The team from the University of Birmingham said that watching a doctor who is caring for people could encourage people to seek help for their own medical concerns. Newsflash, he's not a real doctor, you jackass. <laughs> I could understand just a little bit if this was a medical show, but Jesus, this is next level cope to deal with this failing program. Oh, by the way, they say all this, then, at the end of the article, they tell us basically that this is all bullshit anyway. Quote, Death rates have been generally falling over the study period. A linked editorial said that although the episodes were unlikely to be behind the health boost, what? it helped demonstrate the importance of doctors over the Christmas period. Are you sure? Now I translated what this article was actually saying on a Twitter post not too long ago. Watch our shitty leftist propaganda or you'll die of cardiac arrest. <laughs> I think I got the point with that one. They published this right before a Christmas special comes out with someone no one wants as the Doctor. So by saying you basically could die if you don't see the upcoming special in their heads anyway, they actually think people are going to be like, Oh God, I best watch the gay Doctor. I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> They have turned television into a joke. They really have. Is this, is this how they advertise for their massive brands? I'm just talking to myself here now. Get me off this timeline now. Okay, let's look at this Christmas special that's coming up that's supposedly going to save lives. We have, oh look, gay nightclub dancing. Goblins wanting to eat children, and uh, it's all getting solved with a remote control shaped sonic screwdriver that is engraved with a statement against the current UK government. Is this message that is written in Gallifreyan symbols and it is a Rwandan proverb? It translates to the sharpness of the tongue defeats the sharpness of the warrior. Oh, piss off! Piss off. 
When I say it's against the UK government, I just mean they've done something that's very on the nose, that's clearly meant to draw people's eye and get them wondering. Nothing direct, but you know what I'm saying. But you know what? <laughs> Do you know what's the best part of Doctor Who these days? And I'm being quite genuine when I say this. Watching older but good episodes and reminiscing about how good they were. Th that's one part of what makes Doctor Who good these days. But also... Having the ability to laugh at the new ones because that's all the new ones are good for. Being the subject of ridicule. It's part of a failing BBC that should be gone by 2027 if everything goes according to plan, if the current administration is still in power. That's what their plan is. But that's why I review these ones, these new episodes. I do because it's fun. Not fun to watch. It's, it's horrific to watch, but to make fun of. And I'll keep doing it because it entertains you, it entertains me, and it absolutely angers and triggers the little ankle biters out there who will call me and anyone who dares criticise this shit every name. Every buzzword that comes out of their feeble little minds. And all I do is sit back and watch the comments fly in with their ridiculousness and think to myself, this is absolutely glorious. <laughs> and I tell you this, I am here for it. <laughs>